Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going through problem 1.2 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. It says, is the cross product associative? If so, prove it. If not, provide a counterexample. The simpler, the better. Now, the question is how we're going to go about disproving or proving the associativity of the cross product. And in the wording of the question, it kind of hints to use a counterexample. Or if you wanted to take the general case by splitting up each vector into its Cartesian basis, then you could do that as well. And I'm actually going to show a screenshot from Mathematica where I can disprove it in this way. So I'll show that on the screen now. So hopefully that screenshot was helpful and I'd encourage you to try something like that yourself. But from now on, we'll be using a counterexample as that, that's what the question asks us to do. So at first, you might just want to pick three random vectors and try and disprove it that way and have that as a counterexample. But there's actually the simplest case would be to choose a case in which the vectors b and c are equal. For example, equal to the unit vector in the positive x direction. So that means if we take the right hand side here, we have any vector a crossed with the cross product of the unit vector in the x direction with itself. And then this bit here is actually zero because two identical vectors produce what you call a degenerate parallelogram with zero area. So we have the cross product of A with the zero vector, which is just the zero vector. So now finally, to disprove that the cross product is associative, we need to choose the vector A such that this left hand side is not equal to the zero vector. So keeping the vectors b and c as the unit vector in the positive x direction, let's choose the vector a as equal to the unit vector in the positive z direction. So now we have the cross product of z hat and x hat crossed with x hat the cross product of z hat and x hat is y hat so we have the cross product of y hat and x hat which is just minus z hat. And this is not equal to the zero vector, so therefore we've disproved by counterexample that the cross product is associative.